Okay, well, you, you jumped in there a couple of times with this fructose thing, and you, you yeah. said we didn't really even have it until the 70s, and then it became prevalent in the 80s, and now it's a big portion of our sugar c- consumption. Well, n- so how is that different, and why should we be worried about fructose? Okay, so we actually, there was a, there's always been a lot of sugar, and not always, since the 18th, 19th century sugar intake goes from five pounds per capita per year at the beginning of the 19th century. That's like uh, Coca-Cola's worth of sugar once a week Yeah. to 90 pounds by the end of by 1900 and, and 100 pounds by 1920, and then it stays relatively stable because when people are consuming a lot of sugar, they're getting, tend to get fat, so it tends to be self-limiting. Yeah. Then as we increase our sugar consumption, and worse than that turn, and once we start drinking sugary beverages in huge doses, so the, the soft drink industry begins yeah. in the 1870s and 1880s with Pepsi and, well, Dr. Pepper, Coca-Cola, and Pepsi in that order. Yeah. <laughs> um, the, uh, now you're suddenly drink, you're drinking this stuff, and you're drinking it between meals, and 50% of the calories are fructose, and there's no fiber to slow down the digestion. And you're getting massive amounts compared to what we would have gotten. Well, it was also a high fructose, which is more than the glucose. Well, the high fructose corn syrup is high. It was called high fructose because there were lower fructose corn syrups that had been developed over the years. Mm-hmm. But high it's 55% up to 75% fructose yeah, some of these drinks. True. And may or may not make a difference. I, I just don't know. But mm. the liquid sugars are a problem compared to... So you're getting them between meals... You're getting sugar from basically breakfast mm-hmm. through dessert. So it's rather like drinking than, alcohol on an empty stomach, yeah. you get the buzz faster. <laughs> you get the buzz faster, and you get it all day long. And that's all your liver is doing all day long is mm-hmm. basically processing fructose at doses it's never been designed, never evolved to see before. Mm-hmm. And like any machine that's asked to do a job it wasn't designed to do, it does it poorly. And then making it do it year in and year out, constantly. Like, remember, a little bit of fructose dribbled yeah, into the liver right. over the course of a couple of it's months. It's summer, you yeah, binge on some fruit. Okay, fine. Yeah. It's just the daily and repetitive doses that From are the problem. All, Breakfast, lunch, yeah. and dinner. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and in between.